Hello everyone, this is a reading focused on the Divine Masculine. So this is dedicated for my Divine Feminines watching for the Masculine to take a look at the energy here at the time that you are watching this video, this reading. So these are all of the cards that I'll be using for this reading. They're all my own. So this is the Exposed Deck, the Sunshine and Rainbows, the Thinking Man Oracle, Modern Day Sears Tarot and Oracle, and then we'll grab maybe like a song or two at the end. All right, so let's go ahead and see what that energy looks like here when it comes to your masculine divine feminine. And we'll hopefully be able to offer you some insight as to what it is that you are looking for when it comes to this connection. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the exposed deck. General advice, as always, so please keep that in mind throughout this reading and always take from any given reading what makes sense for you and release what doesn't. All right, so Divine Masculine. Let's see what the opening message is here. So we do have Casanova coming through here. So Casanova could certainly be a great lover, maybe the sexual chemistry between you and your masculine, that's very strong. But the history of Casanova can also be somebody who's not really looking for a commitment. They kind of get in and out of relationships, possibly just for the physical connection and not really looking to, for example, get married or to settle down, okay? Let's see what else when it comes to the Divine Masculine. So some of you guys could have been dealing with a Casanova here. They could have been very friendly, okay? That could have been how you guys have connected. You know, maybe they just kind of won you over with their charms. So let's grab a couple cards from the Sunshine and Rainbows deck. And let's see what else we can pick up. I'm also getting a couple of scenarios if you relate to this. Maybe you might have detached from a Casanova and connected with this masculine who's coming through with this very friendly energy. So one person, one masculine could represent the past. The other one could represent either present energies or future energies. So we'll see. All right, so we've got a couple cards coming through here. We've got the Ox. If you are familiar with the Chinese Zodiac, maybe you know that your masculine is the ox here. You could also represent the ox. So Chinese Zodiac birth years, 19, 13, 25, 37, 49, 61, 73. And then it occurs every 12 years after that. So it does say patience is a virtue and this love partner has lots of it. They remain calm under pressure. You'll appreciate their strength and resilience in a romantic coupling. Your very conscientious companion is fair, reliable, and will always be there for you no matter what, which is very interesting because Casanova will not be there for you no matter what. You know, Casanova is going to be in and out of your life, possibly, you know, jumping into the next connection after they've detached from you, you know, so we do have blooming love that grows and develops over time true love that continues to bloom as time unfolds a forever love a passionate romance that will sweep you off your feet so i'm kind of picking that up here for those of you that are resonating with this detaching from a love where you might have been dealing with a person who really wasn't ready for a commitment they weren't ready to settle down they just wanted to play the field this could be representing a love that's growing <clears throat> excuse me, and blooming and turning into something really beautiful. Okay, and then we also have bottom of the deck, we've got the pearl right here, gained wisdom and learned lessons from past loves. That makes sense for me. This could represent the past love, somebody that, you know, as we see, isn't really looking for a commitment. An old soul that's ready to offer a love so pure, true and long lasting, this romance will bring peace and serenity into your life, a trustworthy partner who is loyal and is a person of integrity. Okay, so in a way, these cards are very complementary to each other. So let's go ahead and grab some tarot. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull from the Modern Day Sears Tarot and Oracle. If this is the first time that you're watching me use this deck, it's one that I created 
especially for advanced beginners wanting to learn how to read tarot. So it's got upright and reversed meanings, but I also wanted to add a twist, which includes new oracle messages as well as new court cards. So while you're learning, it's one of those decks that definitely will challenge you. Okay, so, but it's a lot of fun to use. Let's see what presents itself here. All right, so we do have a reversed card, which is the moon. Okay, so in the reverse, as you can see, it says release of fear. Somebody maybe not getting a whole lot of sleep here. We've got insomnia. Somebody's really unhappy, having unusual dreams. Repressed emotions, inner confusion, misunderstandings, unveiling secrets, self-deception. So that could be Casanova right here, you know, lying to themselves perhaps that, you know, that their behavior isn't hurting people, that they're in and out of partnerships, you know, hoping to find love, but at the same time, they don't really stick around long enough, you know. So that could be part of the reason why we've got that moon's energy popping up in the reverse, because... In the upright, it can represent things that are hidden. It can represent misconceptions, anxieties, and fears. You know, so that's what's presenting itself there. We do have Archangel Shamuel. We've got the Ten of Cups right after that. So Archangel Shamuel, I am the angel of peaceful relationships. I can help bring the right person into your life, your ideal mate. I can help you become closer with your current partner. I can help you heal any conflicts in your relationships, attract new love, and strengthen your existing connections. If you crave intimacy in your life, I can assist with that too. So what's coming through here from this deck, I feel it's more so taking you down a path where you're not going to have to deal with somebody that you can't trust, somebody that might be cheating on you, jumping in and out of partnerships, just looking for a physical connection. So there's some healing here that Archangel Shamuel can help you do, Divine Feminine, and perhaps this is the masculine that can offer that to you. It's coming through as a possible new love that could lead here towards the Ten of Cups, which is such a beautiful energy because this can include marriage. This can ultimately represent the masculine that you're meant to really live your life with and be very happy, okay? And then Divine Feminine, you're also coming in as the Queen of Cups, very caring, emotionally stable Divine Feminine here. And the Queen of Cups is known to be very intuitive. So when it comes to your romance, your love connection with this masculine, perhaps it comes down to you really trusting your heart that you really have found the one for you. And it makes sense for me too that you've got the five of pentacles because this can represent somebody that you have left out in the cold. It could be Casanova over there that represents the breakup between you and someone from your past. But I'm just really picking up here from this storyline that you have possibly already moved on to some, someone else that really makes you happy. And if you haven't, this could be a relationship that's coming in for you to help you heal from past heartbreak. Okay, so let's go ahead and add to this. Let's go ahead and grab some dialogue messages from the masculine. So we'll grab from my thinking man oracle here. Angels and spirit guides, please. For the divine masculine, what do they want to say to you? At this point in time, Divine Feminine. So since we've got a couple of energies presenting itself here, one person from the past and one who could be representing a present love, like currently, or somebody that you end up connecting with in the future. Let's see what those words will represent here. Who's going to speak up? Is it Casanova or is it someone new that you have connected with? I dreamt of you before we even met. So this is perhaps a masculine that really had a vision of meeting and connecting with somebody like you, Divine Feminine. Look at the next card. We've got Cupid's arrow hit me hard. Wow. Okay, now look at this next card. I've picked up my phone a thousand times. But then the insecurities set in. It's been so long since we've talked. 
is it too late for us? And if this is Casanova speaking right here, it could possibly be too late for this person, especially if you know they were just wanting to play, they weren't really looking for a commitment, because this can represent somebody else that really has captured your heart. But as you can see here, look at this next card. This king wants his queen back. There's someone from your past who wants to return Divine Feminine. Bottom of the deck. Let's be Mr. and Mrs. So I, I can't help but feel we have one masculine, one person who's ready for commitment, ready for marriage, ready for everything that this love connection can bring. And there's someone from your past who didn't possibly realize those things because they were in and out of partnerships. There could have been infidelities on their part and they just weren't serious about the partnership. You know, it could be any of those scenarios there. So let's clarify that. I wasn't going to, but I feel like clarifying it. So let's grab some cards from my tabby tarot teacher here. Continuing to focus on the masculine here. What else do we need to know? Angels and spirit guides, please. Focusing on the divine masculine. What else do we need to know? So we've got two people, really, that's presenting itself here for you, the viewer. Perhaps you know who this is because one of... One of them could represent a next partner who wants to return. <laughs> Ten of Cups. Let's be Mr. and Mrs. Okay, so this can represent marriage, happiness, a dream that comes true. They dreamt of you before you guys even met. And so there could have been an instant connection between you and this person, Divine Feminine. Now, for some of you, this can also represent Casanova wanting to commit now you know maybe they weren't ready before but maybe they are now look at these cards we've got the two of cups so we've got water energy presenting itself in this reading two of cups of course is a beautiful card of partnership a very special connection the compatibility between the two of you maybe this person really sees you as their ideal mate their soulmate possibly even a twin flame you know Wow, but it could also be, as we've seen, whoever represents Casanova, the type who really wasn't looking for commitment back then, they want the feminine back. Wanting to communicate, but because of their insecurities, they haven't been able to do that. And they're curious, you know, they're wondering, is it too late? For some of you guys, this person that's coming through in these messages, perhaps you already know it's too late because you're investing your heart your time, your life with someone else. We do have the magician. Okay, so some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo. As we see here, we've got water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So this is manifestation right here. Whoever it is that you consider to be your soulmate in this lifetime. And maybe they see you in that way. This represents a very positive outcome here. But we do have references popping up to reunions and rekindled partnerships. So if there's someone from your past who wants you back, Divine Feminine, then the ball is in their court to be able to make that happen. And so Divine Feminine, you really have to trust that intuition of yours i feel some of you guys have been single during this time apart maybe the divine masculine has been single you know maybe at one point in time they they had a very busy love life you know in and out of partnerships playing casanova and not really looking for commitment but this could also represent you divine feminine some of you guys could also be earth sign virgo capricorn or taurus even though this is a solo energy, this is still somebody that's really putting in the effort and the work to be able to be successful in their life. And I can't help but feel for some of my feminines, that could be you, okay? And as I've already picked up, I do feel that we have a masculine here who is very curious to know if it is too late for you guys to start again. Is it possible to have that reunion? So you've got someone here from your past 
really thinking about that. And then bottom of the deck, we've got the Temperance card picking up off of Sagittarius right there. So again, there is this desire. There's this desire to come back together, but this also requires patience and time. It might be a good chunk of time because it represents Sagittarius, possibly Sagittarius season. So we're looking at November, December of this year. That's a whole lot of time still to unfold. And so I really feel there's a reason why we've got someone from your past wanting to return. And if they really weren't the type to commit before, they know that it's going to take time to win you back. That's what's coming through there. Wow. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some songs to wrap up this reading here. So I'll be pulling from my heart songs deck here. Angels and spirit guides, please. For divine feminines watching for the divine masculine. What songs will be coming through here? If you're not familiar with the songs, see if you resonate with the lyrics coming forward based off of your connection with your masculine. Save the Best for Last by Vanessa Williams. Wow. Sometimes the snow comes down in June. Sometimes the sun goes round the moon. I see the passion in your eyes. Sometimes it's all a big surprise because there was a time when all I did was wish you'd tell me this was love. It's not the way I hoped or how I planned, but somehow it's enough. Okay, so if you relate to that song, it's presenting itself here. But I'm also kind of feeling for my feminines when it comes to, again, Casanova. You had a particular plan for your future with that person and it didn't end up panning out the way you had hoped. Let's see what else. Let's grab another song. Whoa, I have this card flying all across the room. Hold on, let me go grab it. Let me grab it. Oh, beautiful card. Okay, so we have Over and Over Again by Nathan Sykes and Ariana Grande. And then this song, it's it's an oldie. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. It's, um, it's called If by a band called Bread. And David Gates is the singer, I believe. So over and over again, love this song. Nathan Sykes, Ariana Grande. So the lyrics, from the way you smile to the way you look, you capture me unlike no other. From the first hello, yeah, that's all it took. And suddenly we had each other. And I won't leave you, always be true. One plus one, two for life. Representing a possible existing current love or what it is that you're meant to attract after having detached from somebody who really wasn't looking for commitment. And then lastly, we've got this song. If the world should stop revolving, spinning slowly down to die, I'd spend the end with you. And when the world was through, then one by one, the stars would all go out. Then you and I would simply fly away. The way I see these lyrics from this song, it's somebody who really wants to have forever with you. You know, until the, the very last moment that you guys are together, they want to be with you. Okay, so that's what's coming through here, guys, as far as the songs for the Divine Masculine reading. I do hope whatever part of it you were able to resonate with really gives you a better understanding of where your masculine is coming from. And that's it for now, guys. If you're interested in your own reading, that information is down below. Thank you so much. See you next time.